You know, Mario, I think you've got the right idea here. I'm feeling rather sleepy at the moment. But we have work to do. What's up, everyone? This is All Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Last time, we got some more work done in some of the stars down in this area of the map. In this episode, we are going to head back into uh, Hazy Maze Cave and see if we can't try to get a few more stars. Star number three, Metalhead Mario can move. Um, what? Metalhead Mario can move? What exactly is that supposed to mean? Okay, um... I wonder, can the metal form? Nope, metal form cannot really do much with that. Although it seemed like I was able to go up the slope a lot better. Uh, let's see. Metalhead Mario on the move. I get the feeling I've been in this spot before, and this is going to lead to a star that I already got. Get back here! Have I been? No, wait, wait, wait. This leads to Lapras, doesn't it? I can't tell because of the camera. Yeah, this leads to Lapras. Okay. Well, maybe it's down to where Lapras is. Wait, I can still take fall damage? Okay. Um, I'm not really seeing anything of worth down here. Admittedly, I don't think I've really explored too much of this area in general. I mean, aside from being on top of la- Oh, that's right. I wonder, where did I come in from? Because there's a switch right there. So if I could somehow get to that switch with the metal cap. Okay, here's where I entered from. If I could hit that switch, I wonder what that would do. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do for this star. I certainly hope. Okay. So go long jump. Eh. Okay, gotta make sure I reach that switch even though I can't see what I'm doing. Um... What did that do? Oh, it unlocked this! Well, what's this? Um... A star with a bunch of spiders that are gonna jump at me. Um... Okay... Oh, the spiders are infinite. Okay, that was slightly dangerous, although I'm kind of surprised I didn't see another spider try to jump out at me. Metalhead Mario can move! Oh! Was that star number six? Pretty sure that was star number six. No! That was star number three, so that was entirely why I was... For whatever reason, I thought that was a different Mario metal name. Whatever! Final star, star number six. Watch for rolling rocks. Um, what? Watch for rolling rocks? Well, that would mean over here. But what do the rolling rocks have to do with anything? Because, I mean... What? Wait a minute. Okay. Let's see. They seem to fall from up there. Watch for rolling rocks. Could I maybe backflip? Or, or are these just walls? Those are just walls. Okay. Watch for rolling rocks. 
what is it supposed to tell me? Ah! Ah! Nope! Ah. Okay, it seems like they see they come a lot quicker. Wait a minute. That's just the, why is there a random ledge there? Okay. Well, at least there are more coins. But watch for rolling rocks. I mean, this just takes me back to where Lapras is. And I don't think Lapras is really going to do me any good at all. Unless there was another door that I could leave, because I think there might have been... Okay, um... Wait, was that where the metal cap switch was? Because I could swear the metal cap switch was like over here somewhere. No, that's the metal cap. Okay, so that's the metal cap switch. That's where I went for the previous star. And that's all that there is down here. Okay, so it's not in the Lapras area. I'm pretty sure I just went past where I'm supposed to get out. Yeah, let's see. Watch out for rolling rocks. Hmm. Is there another section in this level that has any sort of rolling rocks that are trying to kill me? I'm trying to think. I don't recall there being any other type of section in this level that had that. Rocks. Well, where else could it take me? Uh, here is... Where was this? Uh, this was... Um... Good question. Oh, this is the red coin bit. Which then leads me into the actual... Ah, uh, poison part of Hazy Maze Cave. Okay. So, grab the metal cap so then I don't take any damage. But, what exactly is it supposed to do? Okay, the Mondi Moles just respawn forever, which isn't fair in the slightest. Okay. Some swoopers. Which die very easily because they run into me. There's the blue point. Yeah. Okay. I am not seeing. Okay, that's where I entered. Hmm. So it's not this way. This leads me back up here. I slide down here, and now I'm back in the red coin room. Which doesn't do me any good whatsoever. Yeah, it has to be in that one room. It's gotta be. Those are That's the only room where there are any sort of rolling rocks. But what do I need to watch out for? The bottomless pit? I know I need to watch out for that. That's pretty obvious. Okay, well, there goes the spider. That's where I entered from. Does the sign say anything? No. Hmm. I'm wondering just what exactly am I supposed to do here? Ah! Tried to get out of the way, didn't work. I mean, yeah, to be honest, that looks like some place where I could go down. But it just seems to be a ramp. In that case... Wait! <laughs> Oh ho! What have I found here? I'm almost dead too. Oh ha ha! Wow! Okay, that worked out quite nicely. Sweet. I figured it was. It had to be something to do with where the rocks spawned, but dang, I'm impressed I actually found it that quickly. All right, so that's everything in Hazy Maze Cave, minus the. 100 coins, which 
<laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, especially because of that stupid bottomless pit. Oh well. At the very least, now I think we can just head back over to Dire Dire Docks and see what we can do here. So Dire Dire Docks, what's the next star? Star number four, through the jet stream. Okay. Through the jet stream. Uh, what exactly is that supposed to mean? I'm assuming like it's gonna try to shoot me up somewhere. That doesn't really fill me with hope. Oh well, whatever. It's bound to be up through this way, because I'm pretty sure I've gotten most of the stars that would be down there. Let's like say the shark is hiding a star. Or the cheap cheeps. But in any case, probably where we need to go is down here. Okay. So what's over this way? Ah, uh, well, that's certainly some sort of stream. I wouldn't exactly say it's a jet stream. Isn't a jet stream supposed to be in the atmosphere? Well, anyway, I got an idea. Let's grab the metal cap. It's gonna be the metal cap episode. Oh, I see a star down there. And I just went through that coral. Okay, so what is this? Wait, what? What was that one? Two. Am I supposed to go through a certain amount of rings? Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to long jump off that just because of how far I have to fall. Hmm. Wonder. One, two. Okay, so whatever it is, those numbers are temporary. Hmm. I wonder if I long jump to from where I get this. Uh, well, I'm not going to get anywhere near that. Hmm. But if I keep jumping... One... Two... Um... Then it goes away. Three... But whenever there's any sort of numbers, it's usually in fives. So do I have to go through five rings in one trip underwater? Oh great, that's going to be barrels of fun. All right. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be that bad, but I mean, it seems like whenever I get under here, I kind of lose all the... One, two, ah, ah, there must be an easier way to do that, but I can't see it. Let me give this a few more goes and then maybe try to explore this place elsewhere. Okay, well, I think I found something that's a bit easier than the metal cap. I think perhaps easier thing to do is to align myself and then just try to head down ah. yeah the problem though is the fact that the closer I get down there the more I get tossed to the side so it's a lot easier just swimming down without using the metal cap let's see if I go down here Two, three, four, five! Yes! Okay, that was not as difficult as I was making that out to be. And now I need the metal cap in order to grab the star. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. 
I was wondering just how powerful those currents were, but I noticed that those rings actually got rather big, especially when they were getting really close towards the surface. So, I just figured, hey, what if I just tried just regular swimming? And it actually worked out perfectly! Woohoo! Star is mine! Alright. I think we've got time for one more star, so... Oh, uh, let's just keep doing what we've been doing. We got two stars in, uh, Hazy Maze Cave. Let's do two stars in Dire Dire Docks. Star number five, the Manta Ray's Reward. Oh boy. We're gonna be surfing on it? Well, anyway, I don't think I've seen a Manta Ray here. I've seen the shark and I've seen the cheap cheap, but I don't recall seeing a Manta Ray. Well, this is going to require a little bit of exploring. I'm gonna find this stupid thing. But, exploring I must. Alright, so where could this manta ray even be? Hmm. Watch it, it's like somehow out of the water. It's like, how did you get there? Okay, so the manta ray's ward. Wouldn't have anything to do with that that power star, would it? Also, what's over this way? Wait, what? What? Are you kidding me? That exits me. Really? Really? That exits me outside of Princess Peach's castle. Pretty much at the same location where that stupid. Wing cap stage. Oh, cheap move, game. Cheap move. Oh. You know, maybe that wasn't such a bad thing, because I just found the manta ray. Ah. Wait, what the? Oh. Oh. Oh, great. This is... This is fantastic. Oh my goodness! Am I playing Mario 64 or Superman 64? Great! Just great! I have to swim through freaking rings! Okay, one. Ah. Why is this suddenly so hard? I'm clearly going through the rings! Or at least, it seemed like I was. One, two. Okay, three, four, and five! You jerk move! That is such a jerk move! Okay, I got the star easy enough, but... That was a really trollish move, put it right in front of the freaking typhoon. Slash whirlpool, slash whatever the heck you want to call that. Oh, great! Well, at least it wasn't as bad as it, <laughs> as it first seemed. It was actually quite simple when I actually got the rhythm of it. However, I do believe that will do it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64! Um, let's see, how much work have we done in Shifting Sandland? Only three stars. So we'll probably start off next time doing a little bit more work in Shifting Sandland, and then head to either Snowman's Land, or maybe Wet Dry World. Or, you know, I could actually finally get that first star in Tall Tall Mountain. That's also an option. So, definitely Shifting Sandland. And then probably a little bit of work on some of the second floor stars. So until next time, everyone, take care.